Olden Aki here with another Halo 4 campaign mission walkthrough and today I'm going to show you how to do the second of the two weekly campaign challenges for the week of September 2nd through September 8th. Uh, namely uh, the challenge is Turn It Off which requires you to complete the shutdown mission solo on legendary difficulty. And as we get to the start screen for the mission, there we go, it's shut down. I'm turning on a number of skulls here. Uh, tough luck uh, because I don't want them to retreat. Catch because I need them throwing grenades at me. Tilt uh, for a little bit extra armor on a banshee. Cowbell to accelerate uh, explosions. And grunt birthday party just to make it a little bit easier to see the headshots uh, working on the grunts. So uh, now we, okay, here we just got to get through the 343 stuff, loading up the mission. Seems to take a long time. Okay, here we go. Skip the cutscene, and as we start the mission here, we're going to run, jump down, jet pack up to the Pelican awaiting us, and swap our current weapons out for a DMR and a uh, rail gun. Ammo up if we haven't got already full ammo, and jump into pilot uh, into the pilot seat and listen to Cortana going through the pre-shot or the pre-flight uh, check checklist. Uh, I really don't use the rail gun in this mission, but it is a good backup weapon to have. Now I cannot hear what's being said while I do the voiceover, so I'm just sort of guessing here. But uh, when the chief says it'll be okay, and you see the waypoint for the left trigger to come up. Go ahead and press it down because that's your boost. And the idea of this mission is to fight your way through a couple of towers to turn some switches to disrupt the uh, traffic pattern to, to the didact. Uh, but uh, you can see the waypoints light up there. But uh, you can also see a whole bunch of uh, phantoms over there on the right. But uh, thanks to Noise 10 and his two tower skip, we're going to go directly to the third tower. Uh, if we had gone through the first two towers and activated the switches or deactivated or whatever, uh, then uh, a doorway would open on the third tower that we could land and get inside, but no eyes found a way in uh, to the third tower without having to go through all that hassle, which really is a hassle because one tower is full of cubbies and the other is full of Prometheans. And anyway, I, you notice that little firing I did, that's uh, pointing the direction for the uh, entrance way into the third tower and don't worry about bumping the uh, pelican around because it's pretty well armored and uh, your shields are pretty good and down we go notice I didn't lose much in the way of shielding there okay and we're going to jump up through this little gap in the doorway and get through it okay we seem to have a little trouble with that but it actually is a pretty easy jump up and a little jetpack boost to get through and now we're into the third structure uh, the third tower and uh, if we had gone through the first two towers, our landing area would have been a little bit further outside the building, but essentially, you know, we're right where we need to be. Do not sprint into that, uh, into that grav lift because you can easily sprint right through it and fall to your death. So notice that I slowed down right before I got to the grav lift. We come up and out, a little sprint jump over here. You can use the jetpack if you're a little concerned about that. And first step are, are, are in that tower across the way are a couple of jackals. And sometimes a grunt will appear, a couple of shielded jackals, and I want to get it, okay, got at least one of them. Uh, sometimes uh, we'll have to deal with this, that second jackal uh, when we approach that tower, sometimes he'll retreat. In this particular uh, run, he did retreat. Next up, uh, as we come up to this ramp up here, are four grunts, and we want to try to take out as many of those four as possible. Uh, because if they retreat up the ramp, they'll get on that uh, plasma turret. All right, take out the guy on the right on the plasma turret. It's a grunt. And take out the one on the left. And notice that those little explosions with the grunt birthday party make it a lot easier to see that I, that I took actually uh, took them out. And that's why I had that skull turned on. Okay, take another one out on the left. And notice that on the right, I actually aim a little right of center on the left. I am a little left to center and, and I actually move myself a little bit further down the ramp to get the right angle and I notice now that I've got an elite on the gun on the right and I switched over to the light rifle I got out of that ammo crate and he's down less than two clips or two clips and I've got the uh, 
elite on the left here, and he goes down with less than one click. So now it's just a matter of cleaning up uh, the remaining uh, coveys on these two platforms. And what will happen here is that they're, they're, they're all grunts, and as I take one grunt out, another one will appear uh, on the plasma turret, like right there. Sometimes it takes a second or two for them to do that. I really wasn't paying much attention there. Got a little lazy. Right, I'm using that little uh, barricade up there as cover. And took out the guy on the right. I don't see any more on the right. I don't see any more on the left. Well, yep, there's still one more over there on the left. Right, and now another one came up on the right. So. Right, back on the platform a little. There we go. And headshot. He's, he's gone. Let's take this guy on the right out. He's gone. But you can clear those two platforms out from distance uh, just like that. I'm going to go over here and ammo up on light rifle. Now there's always a possibility that that one shielded jackal that I did not get is still kind of uh, moping around on this platform, but it looks to me like he's moved away down to one of the center platforms. But next up we've got uh, two grunts and three shielded jackals coming off that far platform. Go ahead and take them out of distance. Uh, because if they if they get down to the center platform in front of us, uh, then they're a little hard. They get a little aggressive, and they might team up on you. So, however many you can take out of distance, the more the better. Notice I'm using this container as uh, as cover. Uh, the cubbies will all fire at center mass, which is basically your chest or your heart. So if you can use these containers as cover. And they will fire into the container, and you can poke your head out over the top of the container and and easily uh, take them out with a headshot. And also notice that I can hit them in the hands, the shielded jackals in the hands, and knock them back, and then exposing their heads for a headshot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and swap out my DMR, which is almost out of ammo, with uh, a fuel eye cannon uh, that's a full. And I'm going to come down here just make sure that I've got everybody out on this platform. Yep, they're all done. And up ahead, I'll have a fuel rod cannon elite and two grunts. I'm going to take the grunts out from here. Okay, they're done. So all I got left is a fuel rod cannon elite. And when I take him out, two hunters will appear. And we're going to use a tactic that developed in the Mythic runs. What I want to do is I want to see the elite over right where I scoped in there, right by the light bridge. Once I see him over there, yep, oh, there he is. Then I'm going to use the man cannon, use a little boost on the jet pack, and fire at him with the incinerator cannon. And because he we didn't have mythic on, uh, he actually got incinerated. What I was trying to do is actually knock him off the platform. All right, back over to the fuel eye cannons. Here come the two hunters. Now guarding that grab lift up, which is actually grab lift down. Now what I'm going to do is charge, jump, swing around, jetpack. Uh, and what I was trying to do is get him to swing at me and get on that light bridge or fall off the platform. But at least on the light bridge and I can hit him with fuel rod cannon fire and then knock him off. Same thing here. Up, over, fire at him and with the fuel rod cannon take him off the uh, platform. So that's fairly easy easy way to take care of hunters and that's why I had cowbell on uh, both for that, uh, that fuel I can and elite and for those two hunters the accelerator explosions really helped me uh, do what I had to do there and we come up to the next level I just pack up incinerate that elite and head for this banshee right here okay take it down low towards the middle underneath this this area here which is actually a bridge keep flying low okay and then we get that last downward pillar come up out into the second level here jump out of the banshee jump back down to the first level door will open and jetpack up um, I got kind of hung up there but the idea is to get out of the way of the fire and I got tagged a little bit from behind but but then the uh, hatchway or the doorway closed behind me so I was okay 
And that is essentially the mission. The only thing we have to do now is put Cortana into this thingy here, and uh, she's going to start showing her rampant self and the confusion, and she doesn't know what to do, and so on and so forth. And uh, we got to sit here and listen to it. But ultimately, the chief is going to grab her back. And what he wants to do is get to the liches to get to the didac. And she says, well, they're kind of lining up there. And up goes the screen. Across them? Yes. And, oh, this takes forever. Come on, screen. Let's go. Oh, finally. Okay, the screen goes up, and as soon as we can, we jump through the gap here, and then run off the end of the platform, and we go into a cutscene that I'm going to skip, just showing the chief free-falling towards the Lich, and that's the mission. There is the end of the uh, mission symbol. The uh, challenge should pop here momentarily, uh, about ten and a half minutes or so to do it. Hope it helps. Olaneki signing off. Take care.